Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to be talking about the private match concept coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, recently Fortnite have announced a huge blog on their version 5 of the game and what they're hoping to change and add in within the future of Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, private matches are something that's going to be coming into Fortnite very, very soon. And I want to talk a little bit about it and go into the details, the ins and outs about it, kind of relating it to other games that have had similar concepts. But they have confirmed that the name of this is going to be Playground LTM version 1. So what I mean by Playground is basically private match. Here I have on screen one of the posts from their blog that goes over the details about this. The play, uh, It talks about the Playground, limited time mode, will load you into a battle royale map with some adjusted settings. Battle and build to your hearts are content with an extended period of time to roam around the map with all the chests, all the ammo boxes, all the weapon spawns and everything related to that, which is really awesome. Friendly fire is on so you can fight against each other within a squad which is really awesome and there's going to be up to four friends allowed in this game mode and also hopefully you can go in it on your own if you want to practice your building but fear not you'll have unlimited respawns and also it goes on and on to talk about oh and loads of loot llamas so you guys can get tons and tons of resources and note the stats and challenges will not be tracked in this game mode which is really really awesome this represents our initial step into what creative modes look like in fortnite practice strategies and enjoy yourself we can't wait to see what you do which is pretty awesome i think it's going to be pretty cool overall this sort of concept reminds me of other games that previously have had this kind of like built into the game we've seen other games for example like smite it had the training arena where you could take four of your friends into it we've seen halo reach and a lot of the halos have custom games where you could go into it and build on forge and stuff like that we've seen it within games like call of duty standard games like that where you can build stuff and not too much really there it's just like a private match simple custom private match but we've got games like overwatch where you can change a lot of settings and stuff like that just just a lot of similar games related to this that are pretty cool now the cool concept about this playground ltm is it is with four of your friends you can pop into it you can customize everything when you're in the game you can build you can have build battles you can fight each other and the idea of unlimited respawns is pretty cool i'm not too sure exactly where you'll respawn i assume when you die you'll probably respawn and like fly in again from like, an, like a bit like thanos did when he appeared in the sky and just flew in i think something like that would be pretty cool and overall the idea of it and the concept of it is going to be absolutely awesome now there's been hundreds and hundreds of ideas and theories out there for upcoming ltms and personally i think the idea of playground will eventually become a permanent game mode within fortnite we need like a training area where you guys can practice train stuff and get a load of videos down and get some like cool concepts cool building you basically can have fun in a private match and build what you want and the game will go on forever i think that's where playground will take us to but for now obviously fortnite epic games aren't the sort of development company that understands everything about this sort of stuff that they're, they're a new development company to this sort of world they've played games like gears before in the past but there's not really been that customized like ability basically we are looking for like a sandbox type world that you can load up a bit like a forge world concept where the host can keep it open for as long as they want and you can create mini games and anything like that that is eventually where fortnite's going to go but obviously they don't want to rush it because fortnite is at such a big peak still within the community and it probably is one of the best games out there at this moment in time they don't want to just add everything in at once it'd be daft for them to do that as much as we'd like custom games and us to be able to create our own mini games within fortnite which easily could happen and tons of mini games could appear within the community within the future just like halo reach i think the idea of fortnite going that forge world type like way where people can build their own maps and stuff like that is the way to go within custom games in the future now we're currently in an area where like i was saying fortnite's at its peak and it's trending so doing something like that just doesn't really seem like a good business move to do from a business point of view personally i would not do that if i was the development company like if i was like the management of epic games the manager the top the top i don't know what do you call them the top uh what did ceos of like epic games i would definitely not choose to do that just because i wouldn't want like everything to be out straight away it's like adding in team deathmatch and stuff like that everything's got to come to the game over time now i always say this in videos that could be an entirely new video talking about all this and like e3 and all that sort of stuff with the announcements and it will eventually come nearer to the time and i always do say it like talking ideas that i'm going to do in the future but usually 
they're not correct and they're just like when i say that i am going to make videos on it but it usually gets mentioned in other videos and if i do ever say it do leave a comment down below of that video because i always forget i always write it down but i write so many ideas down i always lose it but let's get back on track of the video and talk a little bit more about exactly what's going to be happening with this private match now we obviously know playground is going to be a limited time game mode which is a little bit unfortunate because limited time is not exactly what we want from this and with custom games being confirmed and already in the game a lot of people have been asking how do we create them custom games now the custom games has to be accessed by a key and to get a key you must be like an authorized company an authorized streamer someone that's going to host kind of like tournament stuff that's how the key works with that from what i know the keys only really working within pc so to actually get custom games for just like a bunch of people say more than four is currently not available Available. But that's where the idea of a custom game or the playground game mode becomes permanently in Fortnite and you can invite your friends to it and host it up. If that sort of thing does come into Fortnite, I definitely think it'll be a different loading screen at the start. So obviously we've got the option between Save the World and Battle Royale and that's the sort of concept it'll have. Anyway, let's take a little look at an example of that because I've found a few within Reddit and thanks to the user here who's got a little shout out there, you can see it's at on screen. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So we have a variety of different game options, presets, item options, players, and featured in this type of thing. We've got invite players, match type solo, you can select different maps. This is the sort of thing you could see within custom games and solo, or whatever you want to call it, like private matches, and you can create bots, health items, explosives. You can change a bunch of different options to have a variety of different like cool stuff going on. You can have the map thundery, snowy, default. That's what we can see happening in the future. Most likely we'll see the map snowy next Christmas, most likely. So I can definitely see something like this happening with in the future of Fortnite. Now, custom games themselves aren't currently available for us, like I said, with the keys and stuff, but game options maybe in a private match is possible. Now, the playground system is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to try it out. We've had similar games do this, like Plants vs. Zombies in the loading screen and stuff like that, and we've had a lot of games have that sort of aspect to it. I'm absolutely really excited for it, and I hope you guys are too. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you are excited for the Playground Limited Time Mode, which is going to be coming in version 5, the release date for this, I assume, will be around E3 time. It's only going to be a limited time game mode, unfortunately, so it's not going to be permanently in the game. So as soon as it does drop, make sure you get your user, like your time out of it, because you want to get as much time in it as possible to practice with your friends. I can't wait to do build battles in it, practice my building with other people, learn tips and tricks from other people as well because playing in a competitive situation is hard to learn as in playing with a private match for example a bunch of subscribers could pop in there with me and we could teach each other some different techniques and stuff there is only a limit on three other people because i'm one of them so that's four in total but something like that in the future with you guys i am absolutely excited for overall my like my total opinion on it is absolutely buzzing. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay because it's a really cool video. And it's actually a solo squad technically because my squad all died early on as you can see. And I do perform pretty well. But on look, like, unfortunately I do get killed at the end. But it's an awesome game. I get absolute tons of kills coming up. So yeah, enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new around it, stick around for daily Fortnite content. And I will put an Easter egg in this video so you guys can check that out. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And once again, this is Postbox Part signing out.
if you have made it to this point, do comment down below shotgun kill because that is what I get right here. And obviously, there's a few things coming up now. Unfortunately, that is my last kill for this gameplay, guys. So I don't get another kill. I am pretty unlucky coming up now. You guys will see the death. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new around here. Again, stick around for daily Fortnite content. And once again, this is Postbox Pat signing out.